Hey guys, so if you are wanting to do live and you just don't feel comfortable yet, this is what I encouraged one of my members in our private Facebook group for Author Audience Academy to do. I said, go ahead and start recording yourself on video on your phone, your iPad, or whatever you're gonna be using. Start doing that now, like not live, but just a static video. So start doing it and don't stop the video if you mess up or stumble over your words, just keep going. And get used to talking. Look directly into the lens. So I'm looking right at you. You wanna look into the lens. A mistake a lot of people do is they're looking at themselves. So right now I'm looking at myself. Hi, welcome to the broadcast. I'm so excited to have you here. And then now I'm looking into the lens. Hi, welcome to the broadcast. I'm so excited to have you here. This is going to rock your world. Can you tell the difference between where I'm looking? But you should really focus on looking into the lens. Every once in a while, you know, look down at the comments, but focus on practicing, on looking into the lens. Just keep going. Don't stop the video if you stumble and do that once a day for up to 30 days. Like you may only need to do it seven days in a row and then you're like, okay, I'm ready to go live. If you need to practice, form a private Facebook group that only you and one other person have access to as an accountability partner and go live in the group. Practice with Facebook Live. There's really like two buttons that you have to push. So you log into Facebook Live on your mobile device. You press the button to go live and it's not gonna go live yet. You put in a title once you put in your title and then you say, you click the next button, then it will give you a three, two, one, you're live. I like to have just a second where you pause when you're first live, just pause like with a smile or whatever you want to do, but pause for a second and then jump right in with an introductory phrase or sentence like, did you know that you can now keep tapping on the hearts? and they fly across the screen on Facebook like Periscope. So cool. Hi, my name is Shelly Hitz. And then introduce yourself. What do you know or what kind of credibility do you have? Like lately I've been introducing myself. I'm the best-selling author of over 40 books and I'm the creator of authoraudienceacademy.com and I'm on a mission to help you reach more people with your message. So, you know, find some way to introduce yourself, to introduce your brand, and then dive into the content. So you don't wanna wait around. You don't wanna, if, if it says zero viewers, don't let that worry you because you are gonna have replay viewers and you wanna appear confident, you wanna appear excited, enthusiastic, you wanna appear like you're connecting and just speak to them like they're there. And sometimes what I'll say is I'll ask for interaction. So I'll say type yes in the comments below, whether you're here live or you're watching the replay. See what I did there? So you're engaging people in your live broadcast. All right, well, I'm excited. Like there's so many new things coming out for Facebook Live. So when you're on live and you're on your mobile device, just keep tapping. Let that broadcaster know that you are enjoying their content. It gives them a, a boost of energy and it's just fun, you know? And you can just keep tapping whatever reaction you want. So it can be the wow, or it could be the like, it could be the heart. You know, it can be whatever reaction that you want to share. All right, you guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my live videos and you want to get notified of when I'm live on Facebook, what this will do is if you're not on live and can't catch me when I'm live, it will tell you that I have a new live video and you can come and watch it at your leisure. But you do that by just going up to your notifications and I have all the instructions on how to do this at shellyhits.com forward slash Facebook Live or just see the pin post on my page right now. After you finish a live video, do not forget to click the little slider button and, and save the video to your camera roll. So I take, I save it to my camera roll. I give it to my video and audio editor. She edits all the little interactions out, makes it into a real succinct training and that video goes on to my YouTube, the audio goes on to my podcast, the audio goes to my transcriber, she transcribes it, the transcript goes on my blog. Ah, are you mind blown yet? <laughs> That's only like a little piece. So I'm repurposing this content in so many ways because some people like to read and they don't wanna watch a whole video, so a good portion of this video will be in a transcript soon so you can 
read it later. Hey, if you're interested in Facebook Live, I'm considering doing a seven day Facebook Live challenge. I wanna do a case study first. I'm um, getting ready to launch a new book and how to actually use Facebook Live to launch a book. Wouldn't that be cool? And then I'll have an actual case study and results of what I did on Facebook Live to launch that book or if you wanna launch a product or a program or whatever you're doing. And then we can then go through it step by step and do it together. So if you're not on my email list yet, make sure to sign up. It's shellyhits.com forward slash free training, or you can just go to shellyhits.com forward slash free and figure out which free training you want to sign up for. Get on my email list because I'll be sending out information about this later. later.